Yep. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Hi, Jenny here. And you're there. You want to come with me to go there? Springs because people are, are in hot springs. There's a lot of people in hot springs. So um, there's this building up here out of the way. I'm going to go check out and see what's there. Before I go check the building, check out these wild horses. Let's tell the story of the time you went to the hot springs and couldn't go in the hot springs. <laughs> so you went and looked at a bunch of graffiti instead. There is a lot of graffiti <clears throat> on this old building. We're on a winning streak because we still have a building full of urban art. I'm not surprised that the art in here is of a better quality because you're protected from elements. I absolutely appreciate the googly eyes. Whoever thought of the addition of the googly eyes There's a person here. Got another eye. It looks like uh, people are only painting as high as they can get without a ladder. Some really cool space up here for like a installation of some kind of tapestry or So am I super disappointed? No. Not at all. So life goes sometimes. Especially when you're coming out to hot springs. You can't always expect they're going to be abandoned or that there won't be other people with you. Yeah, and see, that's what the problem was. Because I heard them first. I said, hold on. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. One part of hot spring etiquette, though, is that you don't set up camp on a hot springs. I would just like to mention there are some basic rules of a hot springs. There's the obvious rules. You pack it in, you pack it out. Yes, pack out other people's crap too. And check the water temperature. Leave your glass at home. 
feel out the vibe, but camping on top of a hot springs is just the worst form of selfishness on a hot springs. If you can camp about 100 feet away, that is a very nice distance that gives people space to enjoy the hot springs with you. So, as you can see, Broken Arrow's been here, Eames been here, TFS has been here, Maiden Stock was here, but somebody didn't like Maiden Stock. So now it's been painted over. Love is evermore. What do we got on this side? We've got aliens. We've got mushrooms. And we've got a really large bat. I want to thank you folks. For coming along with me on the Hot Springs Graffiti Journey. Please, if you've come this far, like and subscribe. So you can see where I go next. There's two tubs here and a pool. Now the pool is lovely. Just soaking my feet. There's lots of little fish in here. Might be a little hard to see, but I know you can see the little tufts of dust. And that's the wild horses. So lots of them around here. We're in their watering hole. Thank you for your time and energy because there's only one you in this world and that's what makes the world amazing. 